Hi guys! I am super excited for today's video. It is something a little bit different for me. We are going to be trying out and reviewing the Beach Waver S1.25 and I am super excited for this. I saw it a lot on Instagram over the last like few months and I'm not gonna lie I am like a marketer's dream so of course after like a month of seeing it like every day I was like I need it I did do a lot of research and there have been like a lot of really good reviews on this product and I've been on the market for a new curler I was more looking for like something like a straightener that I would like learn to curl my hair with a straightener which I can do sometimes but it doesn't always work out for me so I thought that I would give this a go now, I do love my previous curler, but I have had it for a few years now and I do think it is starting to die just because I think the base of the barrel hits up a lot more than the end of the barrel does, if that makes sense. So the part closest to the handle heats up more than the end does, which it didn't do at the start. I have had it, I think, for like six or seven years. So that's a decent amount of time to have a hair straightener, hair curler. I actually can't believe I've had it for that long. I'm a bit shocked to be honest with you. But anyway, I am still planning on using that. I just wanted to get this one as well because it is the 1.25 inch barrel beach waver. So it's a bit thicker than the curling ones that I currently have. I think this is, it was like 33 millimeters or something like that when I looked it up. Oh yeah, it's 32 millimeter barrel. Sorry, I just on the front of the box it says. Huh. But anyway, with that all being said, let's get into it. I have already put heat protectant in my hair. But I actually haven't taken it out of the box yet, so this is really exciting for me. Let's take it out of the box. Oh, it actually has instructions for how to use it depending on what type of waves you want. Let's just see what I do, shall we? I have watched quite a few videos on this. I'm not going to lie, like review videos. But I didn't actually see any Australian ones, I don't think. Well, I didn't find any. And a lot of them were of the pro, to be honest with you. Oh my god, it's so pretty! This is what it looks like. It comes with an Australian plug, if you were wondering. They have a warehouse, I think it's in Sydney, that's where mine came from. It actually came really quite fast, to be honest with you. Like, I think within three or four days, maybe four days, of me placing the order, it arrived. I'm pretty sure I placed it on Tuesday and it came on Friday. That's pretty freaking good, if you ask me. This is what comes in the box, like apart from the packaging. So you don't get a case or anything like that and you do get a safety instruction card. And yeah, that's it. I'm actually surprised it doesn't come with instructions, but the instructions are printed on the back of the box. And to be honest with you, I feel like we should be okay. I'll tell you what, I'm not throwing out this box. <laughs> we should be okay because I have watched quite a few videos, so I roughly know what to do. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm going to take off the plastic so it doesn't melt. I'm not going to lie, this does feel massive, but it is like really light at the same time. The power cable is actually also 2.7 meters long, which is great. And I did just read on the side of the box that it is great for shoulder length to long hair and medium to thick hair, which will be interesting considering I have fine hair. So we will see. But I, what I want to do is I want to obviously curl this with you today. And I'm washing my hair, I think, in two days. So I will come back to you tomorrow and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow after I've slept on it. I would do a test again tonight but it's already like nine o'clock at night. So I don't think I will be coming back again tonight. I'm probably gonna do this video and just get straight in the shower and wash off my makeup. But I will let you know how my hair curls. Either I will do a clip of from tomorrow of me just like showing you my hair or I will write down below how or if I forget to do that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's plug this in and set it up, shall we? Just turned it on at the power. Oh my god, I'm like, how do you turn it on? <laughs> okay, so I turned it on the power and it made a little beep noise. And then I'm going to press the power button. And the automatic setting is at 180. My god. It's like the number's going up. I'm not sure if you can tell that. You can kind of see it changing. 
Do you see that? Oh, it just like counted all the way out to 180. So it doesn't beep when it's ready, but it tells you. It definitely feels hot. Also, it does, so it doesn't come with a case, but it does come with this little thing here. Like a little leg sort of thing, if you want. So you can like lean it on tables and benches and stuff and it's not going to burn through, which is awesome. Or like, you know, melt any surfaces. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop that down there. That actually heated up so fast. I was not expecting it to heat up that fast. <laughs> so usually it says to section your hair. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the bottom layer. God, I just brushed my hair, but you wouldn't think it. Okay, that's a very thin base layer. Brushing me out. I think it does have a 30 minute automatic turn off as well if it's not used for 30 minutes. So hopefully I'll use it before then. We'll see. You know what? Even on the box, the simplest instructions, it says that it heats up in 30 seconds, which is incredibly fast if you ask me. So it does just heat up to 180 degrees. I'm going to try it on 180 degrees and we'll see how we go. But my hair curler, I'm pretty sure, only does 210 degrees. So, and that works really well for my hair and it holds really well. Like it holds for days. Like I will have at least slight waves in my hair and I really like that. So I'm hoping that this will give me the same effect that my other hair curler does like throughout the days. But my other hair curler, cause it's quite thin, I prefer the waves that I have on the second day because they're a bit looser. So that's what I'm hoping for with this. And I understand that if it's a bit looser to start off with, it's not gonna hold as well. But if I have some waves tomorrow, I will still be happy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, okay, so keep getting distracted. So on this, we have the rotate buttons. So you rotate away from your face. You press that arrow so that the curls are away from your face. We have this button here, which is the home button. It returns the clip to the straight ahead position, which is where it's supposed to start every time. I have a feeling I'm going to forget that. Let's see how we go. And also it has a switch on the side, which controls the speed. Because I'm only starting, I'm going to change it to the slow speed, just because this could be dangerous. And then we've got the plus and minus, which obviously controls the temperature. And we've got the power off. And this thing here is apparently called the safety stand, if you were wondering. But anyway, let's get into this. This is obviously going to take me a lot longer than it will when I get used to it. Okay, here we go. I feel nervous. I hope this doesn't hurt me. Anyway, so we've got a little clamp here. So what you're going to do is you put your hair like this. I love it how I'm like tutorialing it. And then we're going to point away from my face and it rotates like so. And then you're supposed to hold it for about three seconds, I believe. And then I'm going to count one, two, three. Then we're gonna drop it. I reckon. I reckon I'm gonna need it to be hotter. I'm gonna return it to the start as well. Did you see that? Oh, I have a tiny curl. Oh no, you know what? That's actually quite good. Do you see that? I didn't go up super high. Sort of bouncy. I reckon I might. I'm gonna go up to 210 degrees. How do I change the temperature? So once you've already started curling, if you need to change the temperature, you should press the power button and then change the temperature because otherwise I think it like kind of locks the temperature. I'm going to do that piece again just because I'm like, that's not going to hold. And we're going to do it at 210 degrees. Okay, let's do it. So away from the face. So I'm holding on like reasonably tight. Like I'm, I've got quite a bit of tension on my head as well. Oh, oh yeah, you know what? I think that works better. So that's going to be my first curl. I'm just going to flick that over the back. Oh, also, the other thing is, depending on how relaxed a wave you want, they suggest putting it up higher or lower at the end of your hair. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm not super coordinated with this. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I feel like we're going reasonably well. Let's keep going. Oh, my God. I feel like I accidentally let that get so close. I'm on slow, but I just am so afraid. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something weird. It was weird S curl. Oh well, we're gonna leave that. I don't wanna like overheat style sections of my hair. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish off this side, which isn't that much, and I will be back to do this side of my base. Wow, this has so much more hair. 
I've separated my hair really well. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I have finished the curls on this side now. So I'm going to go in and do this side. I'll just start with you and finish them off camera again. Just so you can see. Because this way the barrel will be rotating in the opposite direction. I'm not finding it... Obviously it's not completely super easy. I mean, it's not like, difficult. It's like one of those things like every whenever you learn to do something new, like curl your hair a different way, you're going to have to learn how to use it. And obviously this is the my first time using the product and it is quite simple. I'm not going to lie, this is like horrifying to me. I don't have the best mirror for this. I'm so afraid of touching my mouth. Like that. Ah! It's okay. I'm okay. I'm horrified. Where's the clip? Okay, I found the clip. I'm letting that go. Oh, I think I press home. Whoops. I'm not getting it very high because I'm really afraid of burning my head. I'm not going to lie, guys. There's no trust here. I have such bad trust issues. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. I feel like this could be dangerous. I'm afraid to do this. I get so nervous trying new things. It is really light to hold though as well. Yeah, so you don't want to press the wrong button. I feel like this is quite easy to pick up, but obviously I do curl my hair quite a lot with my wand, and that that honestly took me so long to learn how to do. Though when I bought that wand, the woman at the store taught me how to use it. Like she curled my hair, and she made me curl my hair. A few times and it took me ages to get comfortable using that so I can imagine this is just another thing that you know you have to get comfortable using but obviously it's not super difficult to pick up it's just you have to figure out how to make it work for your hair and I'm not the best like I've never used the curling I think this is a curling iron so I don't have much experience with these clips I know this is meant to be a really good one though see it's quite short so you don't it doesn't like clamp the hair and leave like a mark on the hair but anyway guys i'm going to quickly finish off this section and i will be back to do the top section with you guys so i have done this part and you can kind of see i've definitely gotten the hang of it a bit more by this curl like that was the last curl that i did and i've gotten more confident with it i feel like i get really worried when things are like sort of like at my neck because i'm really afraid that because i can't really see that well that i'm gonna burn myself but when I was like here, I was much more confident. I am really liking it so far. My hair feels really soft actually. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly chuck some hairspray in and then I'm gonna do the next layer of my hair. Okay guys, so I have sprayed my hair and taken a section down. I have decided that, because I've already done the base layer, from now on I'm just going to work from this side and then I'll do the other side after. Just because when I usually curl my hair, I curl my hair in sides. Like I do sections, like layers, but I also do it sides. And I think I prefer like doing it like that and then flicking it over my shoulder rather than like working on both sides all at once. I'm not sure if this makes any sense to people. And then having it all kind of sit there because like when I work from side to side I can sit it on the opposite shoulder and then flick the new curls to the back if that makes any sense to people but if not I apologize but that's just how my brain works and this is how I'm comfortable and considering I'm doing something that I'm not super comfortable with we're gonna try and do it in the most comfortable way possible and that's this way so we'll see how it goes <laughs> I feel like that. I'm mean, yeah, I feel like I'm getting better, guys. I feel like I'm getting better. <laughs> I definitely feel like as well. I could be wrong, but I'm taking much thicker sections. I'm taking much thicker sections of hair than I usually would, or at least this one's really thick. So we'll see how we go with this. But sometimes if I have like particularly thick sections when I curl, I just hold it for longer. So the girl in the video said to hold it for I think three seconds. But I'm holding it for a bit longer because I don't think my hair was holding as well at the start. But it's just hard because I have such fine hair. So it just really doesn't hold much. So I really hope this works. I really should have done this during the day so that I could have showed you how it was at the end of the, the day. But this is what we have for now. Oh wow, that was probably way too long. <laughs> oh, hopefully that one lasts. <laughs> my hands are like so afraid, I think. Because obviously I burnt myself quite severely. Buttons. I didn't grab it very well. Ah. I'll be out. Oh, 
that's hot. <laughs> I burnt myself quite badly the other week on my hair curl. So I'm a bit like afraid touching something so different and so dangerous. That's me timidly getting it up high. <laughs> I feel like I probably should have layered it even more than I've done, to be honest with you. But it's pretty late and I'm feeling pretty lazy. Lazy. Okay, guys, that part is done and hairsprayed. And I'm feeling like it's actually going really quick because I think I can take a more, like, thicker section of hair than I usually would on my other thinner barrel. So I'll just do this last section of hair now and we'll see how we go. I definitely think I'm getting better. I think in future, if I were to do this again, I would definitely section it off differently. Like I would probably do, like I said before, like in half, so one side then the other. And usually I kind of just go through and use this hair clip. Like I tie one side up and then the other side, I just slowly clip different sections of hair up. And usually I work in like backwards bottom layer, then back top layer, then front bottom layer, and then front top layer. Like that's sort of how I do it usually. So I think I'd probably do it like that in the future when I'm using it again, because I'm going to try this again, definitely. I did, one of the videos I watched did actually say to get the hair to hold really well, you're supposed to keep it really like quite taut. There we go. That was a good one. I feel like I'm much better at this side for some reason. Maybe it's because I have a better view of it. So I'm more confident. I feel like as well, what I'm noticing is my hair is curling better when it's covering the entire barrel. Obviously because when it goes over the clip here, it's like not getting the heat directly on it and also it's just overlapping around my hair so it's not holding the heat up as at the top as well as it is at the base of my hair. I'm so good at explaining things I feel. <laughs> See I don't think it works super well when it does that either like you kind of want it taut the whole way through rather than like how it's bunched up a bit funny. Yeah. Ooh. If you do what I do and you keep accidentally hitting the home button while you're holding it, if you press the arrow towards your face, it will stop it from twisting, I think. Well, at least that's what it keeps doing for me. It stops it from twisting and ow, there we go. That didn't hurt, sorry. I was just stuck. I just want to show you as well, like I keep getting to this point where I'm like almost at the top of the barrel. If you like press the clamp a little bit, it'll drop your hair and you can get even tighter and higher with it. So that's what I've been doing for the last little bit. Just loosening it up and popping up. I believe I saw that in one of the videos that I watched on this when I was doing my research. I'm pinching my other hair with my fingers. And there we go. Ooh. I'm just gonna quickly do this. Oh, it's so short. Sorry, I get to see that just then. I got so afraid of it touching my face that I pulled away. Okay, that probably doesn't need to be there for that long. There we go. That is all done. I'm gonna turn this off now. So it says to turn it off, you just hold it for three seconds. Bam. That wasn't even three seconds. Okay. And I wonder how long it'll take to cool down. Anyway, I'm gonna go hairspray this side and I'll be back once it's cooled down, which should not be too long. So there we have it. My hair feels really soft, I'm not gonna lie, even though I've just chucked some hairspray in it lightly. You can kind of tell like, I definitely have some curls that I've done much better than the others. Like, this side, I haven't done as well as I have on this side. Like, you can see them all, like, in their, like, little ringlet formation. Whereas this side, I've got, like, one really good, like, ringlet, like, the whole way through. But obviously, I don't want my curls to be sitting like that. So, I'll brush them out and we'll have a look. I've just got this little comb that I use to brush my hair out, my curls out. I'm so bad when I brush my other curl, like with my other hair curler. I don't like the feeling of hairspray, so half the time I feel like I'm brushing my hairspray out. You can just do this with your hands though. Okay, I think I used too much hairspray. <laughs> anyway, let's flick them around. Ooh, I'm gonna zoom you out, sorry, because I just realized you can't see my whole hair. I really like this so far. Like, look at these big, beautiful waves. Like, this side is way better than this side, but. 
I will practice and get better, like I did with my other hair curler, the curls that I get from my other hair curler are definitely quite tight and I have to, I think I brush them a lot to get them to drop a bit, but that is a really good hair curler as well and it does hold four days, like I said before, so I'm not sure if this will have the exact same effect. The only thing I will say about my other hair curler is because like I am a bit of a rough sleeper so all my curls definitely drop but sometimes I will like lose my front curls if I like roll around a lot during the night on my hair. Like sometimes I'll wake up like on my face like or you know like like this on the pillow. <laughs> so I do know that some days like I'll go out with like second day curls with my other curler but I'll have to quickly recurl the front ones just to make sure. That they look bouncy enough because I always want the front curls to be more curly than the back curls because it frames the face really nicely at least that's what I think so far so good I think I really like it what do you guys think have you been thinking about trying this at home I'm gonna zoom you back in now I am keen to know if you've tried it out or what you think if it holds in your hair if it doesn't let me know. But so far, I really like it. I feel like it looks really nice. I do hope in future to get my waves a bit higher, but I know that comes with trusting. <laughs> and I'm not very good at that. So it might take me a bit for when I'm like comfortable to have it like really close to my head. And I think I'd have to layer it a bit better as well. So I'd have to start the layer quite high to get it a bit higher. Not like much higher, but definitely higher on this side because this side's quite low feeling fabulous I might just actually turn around and then you guys can see the back of my head to see if it looks ridiculous or not uh, this is what we're working with I'm back to the regular distance from my face I'm really worried they're gonna drop really quickly but we'll see We'll see how it goes. Tomorrow I might wake up and have very curly hair or not. It's kind of hard when you brush it and I brush my hair like every morning and night usually unless my hair's really naughty. Sometimes I'll brush it during the day. My hair does get naughty really easily. Anyway, I feel like I'm just waffling so much about my hair in this video. Okay, I've just touched the iron and it is still a little bit hot. Not like super hot, but a little bit hot. So it does take a lot longer to cool down than it does to heat up. I really enjoyed this so far. And like I said, I will either let you know in a clip that's going to be inserted like really soon or down below how my hair is tomorrow. So I just realized that I had my little decorative lights down this entire time because I was hoping that putting them like that would remind me to turn them on before I started filming. But instead I just left them like this the whole time. Also, I totally forgot to put on a lip product. I'm wearing like a lip balm right now, which is slightly tinted, but that is all. So I apologize for that. So this is the morning after hair so far. It's looking pretty straight, I'm not going to lie. There are like some slight kinks in it. So it definitely isn't holding as well as my other curler does. You can definitely see some waves though, like down here, but a lot of it has dropped as you can kind of tell, zoom you out a little bit. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this at the moment. It was easy enough to use last night, especially considering it was my first time using it, but the hold is just nowhere near as good as my other curler. I do have very difficult to hold hair because it is so fine. It does not hold styles very well, and my other curler is practically a miracle, to be honest with you. Also, I haven't brushed my hair yet. I was gonna do that with you guys so that you can see just how it looks the next morning, but I'll show you the back as well. How do we feel? What do you guys think? Like, it's not horrible. Oh, wait, I'm gonna brush my hair. See, I'm maybe too aggressive brushing my hair. Oh my God, my hair not so easily. Also, if you're interested, this hair brush I've had for years, but it's just the like wet brush. And this is so good if you have hair that knots. Like it works so well to get rid of knots. Like honestly, I have like some of the knottiest hair ever and this brush is a lifesaver. It just gets my knots out without ripping out my hair. So you can see I have some slight curls and some slight waves. 
but that is about it. The fact that I've got these kinks in my hair here makes me think that there is a possibility it could hold, but obviously because it's the first time I did it, maybe I didn't do it the best way. See, like this one, look at that. I don't know, I'm just, I'm not super sold on it so far, I'm not gonna lie but I'm gonna keep experimenting with it and I'm gonna let you know how I go with it. Please excuse my scab as well. It was a really bad pimple, but I put like five pimple stickers on and they didn't go away. But anyway, oh, and I remember my lights this morning. Yay, finally. But I'm gonna keep trying this product and I'm gonna let you know how I go with it. It says on the box that it's best for medium to thick hair and I have fine hair. So there is a possibility that this would hold way better for people with medium to thick hair, like it says on the box. And maybe it's just not the best for me because my hair is so fine and like so hard to style. Like I've had my hair done before and the stylist was legitimately like, wow, your hair does not hold anything. And she had to like do my hair a completely different way to how she did the the other girl's hair because my hair just was not holding curls so my hair is not the best to trial this on but if you have hair like me like if it does not hold things usually then at least I can help you out so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep inserting clips here so there will be more clips of my opinions changing or staying the same on it over the next few weeks see no look at this I do have some curls like you can see them here I just feel like I've done it better in some areas than I have in others. So that's why I want to keep trying. I feel like I could get it to last. It's just that I need to practice to get the best curls. I do have something, see, I do have something. So I'm not super unimpressed, but I'm not super impressed. But I do want to say, actually, I did notice last night my curls dropped quite fast. Like I feel like within two hours they were like, Phew. Also, last night I had a shower and I put my hair in a bun. I didn't like wrap it around. I just did one of those like buns where you like do the ponytail and then you like loop it like this. And usually, oh, did you hear that crack? That was my shoulder. And it, <laughs> usually my hair is still curly the next day when I use my other curler if I do that. If I do like a twist bun and like wrap it up, then usually it will kind of like ruin one of the sides because obviously it's like curling it the opposite way that it's supposed to be curled. So I have like pulled my hair up and I still have something. No matter how small it is, I still have a slight something in my hair. So I'm kind of like, it's not horrible. Like it's not like a horrible hold in my hair, but it's just not as amazing as my other curler. So I'm like, mm, not sold yet, but I will let you know. We will keep this communication going and I will let you know how I go with it. Okay guys, I started filming this video on the 7th of March. That is almost, well, three months ago, probably three months ago from when I post this. And I cannot believe it has been that long that I have been testing this product. I haven't tested it every day, but I'm just not like sold on it completely. And this is like my honest opinion. So I did my hair an hour or two ago now, and I did it probably up to here. Like the curls and you can see they've already dropped quite a bit and I'm not gonna lie I love the way it makes my hair look like I love this sort of wave I combed through it and it's created this beautiful natural wave but I'm just not getting the volume and the staying power that it says it gives some people I am unfortunately not one of those people and that is kind of what my judgment on this product is based on because my hair doesn't hold anything except the curler that I purchased like I don't even know five years ago now and it holds that so freaking well like for days for days I can sleep in my hair and I've got these like little bouncy like not perfect curls but damn bouncy curls you know not like ringlets or anything like that but they are still there like for until I wash my hair like days down the track <laughs> days down the track but these curls do not last in my hair and I'm not gonna lie I am still gonna use it because I love I love this look I think it, it it's so easy to use I curl my hair in less than 20 minutes and once you get used to using it like it's a great product to use it's so easy and if you have hair that holds curls really well I would a hundred percent recommend it and especially if you're not the best at curling your hair because 
it is an easy way to do it like so easy but unfortunately for me with like super fine silky sort of hair I it just doesn't stick in my hair for days so it's not my favorite curler ever but I do love it for its like ease and like the, the barrel I love the barrel because I love this sort of wave and it does look gorgeous like I feel like it looks gorgeous in my hair but it just doesn't hold as much as I personally would like it to. My hair's already dropped a bit in like an hour or two and by the end of the night like it'll be probably just the base of my hair. Not that I did it very early in the evening to be honest with you, it's already quite late at night. But I've taken like so many photos of like just after curls, later that night curls and then the next morning curls and they're just... There's not much there the next morning, I'm not going to lie, if anything. And I mean, I do sleep like crazy, like I roll around like a crazy person in my sleep. But yeah, they just, they aren't there. I did actually contact them because they do have like a good customer service thing where you can book appointments with people for free. They're like consultations and you can help, they'll help you choose the product that you want or they can help you use the product which is what I chose to do or they have even like expert tips on like the product and I did a 15 minute consult with someone about how to use the product and I wrote when I was like booking it like I can't get it to stay in my hair and they gave me all these tips for people like me and it still just didn't work as well as I wanted to. The tips that she gave me for fine hair would use really small sections of hair which makes the process longer and also to douse my hair in either a really good holded heat protectant spray or use heat protectant spray and hairspray first and I did the heat protectant spray and hairspray one because my heat protectant spray does not have <laughs> that good a hold so I did it the other day and I just left my hair in like the perfect ring of curls I did not brush it through at all and it still dropped that night and even today I haven't washed my hair since I did that and when I did the curls again like my hair was hard with how much hairspray I had put through my hair the other time which isn't ideal either because I don't like the feeling of hairspray in my hair so if I curl my hair usually I'll use like a loose sort of hairspray or like you know a gentle hairspray but with this I feel like I almost need like cement to hold it in place which sucks because honestly it does such a good job and it's such a nice look but unfortunately it just doesn't work as well as I would like it to but that being said, I'm still going to use it if I'm like going out to dinner with my friends and I don't really care how my hair looks at the end of the night. Like I don't really care if it's dropped a lot. I will definitely use it for that sort of thing. But if I'm going to a wedding or something like that where I want my hair to hold for like hours, I probably won't use it for that. But that is just my opinion. And this is how it worked for me personally. There are people on the internet that like love this product so freaking much. So if you have a different type of hair to me or if you just want to give it a go, then I would suggest contacting the Beach Raver customer service, even like booking one of those like appointments that you can get before like about the product consultations and then that way you can see like they will tell you what what should work for your hair and like you can watch other people's reviews as well because some people might have like slightly more positive reviews than me but I just wanted to give you my honest opinion of how it worked for me personally because that is what my channel is about. I don't like being mean about products and I don't think that I'm being mean about this it's just unfortunately this time it didn't work as well as I personally would like it to. It still does a good job and it's still easy to use. I just don't get that hold that I so crave when I curl my hair because I love waking up the next morning with curls and I just feel like a princess whenever I curl my hair. So yeah, flip it. <laughs> also, it does say on the box that the 1.25 is great for shoulder length to long hair and medium to thick hair. So there is a possibility that I have just gone for the wrong one like maybe I should have got the one instead of the 1.25 but I got the 1.25 because I wanted this big barrel curls <laughs> if you know what I mean that sounds weird. but <laughs> I wanted the like massive waves look because that is the look that I want <laughs> and that is it so now I'm gonna send you back to an outro that I filmed like almost three months ago I hope you enjoy it I wonder if I look much different I am wearing makeup currently that I used I did in my previous video or one of my previous videos I'm not sure if you noticed <laughs> but anyway guys back to past me again
Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you would like to subscribe or like this video, I would really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you soon. Present to you... A... And medium to thick hair. Hair. It's like a bunch. Oh shit. Look at them and pull them out. Oh, my eye. I have a piece of fringe in my eye. But yeah, I really like it. My curls.